Hello there. Ever wondered what a supernet is and how it works? Well, let's dive right in. In the world of computer networking, a supernet is essentially a larger network created by combining several smaller ones. Think of it as a mega highway, merging multiple smaller roads together. The purpose of a supernet is to increase efficiency and reduce congestion. In simpler terms, it's all about making data flow smoother and faster. Imagine trying to move a large crowd of people through a narrow door. Things get pretty slow, right? Now imagine if we could open up several doors into one big one. Suddenly, moving that crowd becomes a lot easier. That's the magic of supernetting. It takes multiple small networks, each like a separate door, and combines them into one big efficient passage for data. So in essence, a supernet is a larger network formed by combining smaller ones. But how does this process happen? Stay tuned to find out. Let's dive into the workings of a supernet. A supernet, also known as a network aggregation or route summarization, is essentially a process where numerous networks with contiguous IP addresses are combined to form a larger network. Think of it like grouping together a set of houses to form a neighborhood. Creating a supernet involves the concept of IP addresses. These are unique identifiers assigned to each device connected to a network. Now, imagine that each IP address is a house and a supernet is a neighborhood. By grouping these houses together, we form a neighborhood, or in this case, a supernet. The size of the supernet is determined by the subnet mask. This is a binary pattern that decides how many and which IP addresses can be included in the supernet. It's like the boundary of our neighborhood, deciding which houses are part of it. Now, let's talk about routers. These are like the postmen of our neighborhood. They handle the traffic, directing data to the right IP addresses within the supernet. When a router receives data, it checks the destination IP address and uses the subnet mask to determine if the destination is within its supernet. If it is, the router forwards the data to the right place. If it's not, the router sends it up the chain to a bigger router. So, that's how a supernet is created and operated. But why is it important? Why should we care about supernets? Well, supernets play a crucial role in efficiently managing large networks. They help reduce network congestion, essentially unclogging the digital highway for smoother data traffic. Plus, they simplify the often complex task of IP address management. That's it for today, folks. Now, you not only know what a supernet is, but also how it works and why it's important. This is Alessandro El Sharkawi, signing off. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.